My, my, some letter. Surely not Christmas cards at this time of the year. Come on, come on, open it up. Hmm, one of those booklets from the Department of Agriculture. Opportune, too, today being Saturday, and Hobby at home with nothing to do. Oh, yes, he has. Mary, how could you? Such meanness. And they're not to be bought for love, no money. Look out. take time off to sulk. The complete sulker requires a lawn, some shade, a chair, a book, and a sour look. He's got the lot, so he's all right. Now, about reducing that handicap. <clears throat> but hold on. Here's a handicap he won't reduce. Take a look at that, sour puss. than man, he disguises himself as a gardener. Still secretly sulking, of course. He can't get that cancelled game of golf out of his mind. Don't you feel mean, Mary? In golf, these are called chip shots. In gardening, it's called scratching the surface. But Mary doesn't think he's coming up to scratch at all well. Say, Mary, go borrow a bulldozer from next door. No, no, on second thoughts, leave the bulldozer and borrow the girl from next door. She's a student of the Burnley School of Horticulture. Her garden always looks tops, or roots. Say, uh, how does a garden look, anyway? Sabotage, that's what's being done to a good game of golf. My goodness, she said. What's this prehistoric weapon? A wooden beach spade would have been more used than that shovel. No, sir, what you want is a good steel spade. Made for gardeners and people who call a spade a spade. The edge is kept sharp by occasionally rubbing it with a file. And now, mister, you may stop sulking and start feeling silly. Mary the meanie will proceed, meanwhile, to gloat. And while the strained relationship exists, let's call in at the Burnley School of Horticulture for our own private demonstration. Meet Tilly the toiler, um, Tilly the teller. I'm sorry, I mean meet Tilly the gardener. See how easy digging can be? Remember, of course, that the soil should be moist, but not wet. Secondly, don't try to imitate a mechanical scoop. A spade full at a time, and that's a plenty. Notice the twist of the wrist and the use of the undug face on which the spade full of soil is pressed in order to begin the lift. And a cut made at right angles to the trench is the width of the spade. Turn the sod completely over and leave the surface as level as possible. Stable manure can be most easily worked into the soil by pushing it into the trench, covering it, and then repeating the process. Care should be taken to remove old cups, saucers, motor tires, and handbag frames. The large lumps require breaking down. But if the soil has a tendency to run together and cake, leave the surface rough. This always annoys the snails. So that normal water movement will take place through the soil, it should be trapped. Tramp, 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 the girls are... <laughs> Sorry. Beds prepared some weeks before use will not need this tramp, 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 and um, tramping. And now to comb it. Comb again, dimwit, that's a rake. 
The bed is now ready for the seed. Fine seeds need a shallow drill, not more than one inch deep. And there's a knack in sowing fine seed. Move the hand quickly along and above the drill, and at the same time sprinkle the seed with the fingers. Notice the back of the hand faces downwards. Half an inch of fine sandy soil will be ample covering. Back with our golfer, things have moved along a face. Look at all those beautifully replaced divots. The Burnley Horticultura, the, uh, uh, you know, the girl from next door is making the bed. Dusting powder on a bed? No, no, that's lime. And about six ounces go to the square yard. Yes, and then you rake it for the second lime. I'm sorry, I mean time. He knows all about it now. Or does he? Hold on, sir, it's too thick. You're wasting seed and you won't get healthy, vigorous plants. But fancy letting a girl show you the right way, sissy. All you have to do is to scatter the seed thinly and evenly along the drill, and then cover the little blighters with fine soil. As for bigger seeds, like beans, why, any sap could do that, I think. The seeds go into a deeper drill and are covered with a little soil drawn in by the rake. Easy? Of course it is. But after all that work, a man certainly deserves a drink. And you know, I didn't even know he drank his own. But now let's be serious. There's still much to be done before the vegetables are in the pot. The young plants need thinning out to give sufficient space for development. Thinning can commence as soon as they are large enough to handle. If delayed too long, poor roots will result. Older plants resent any disturbance near their roots. Thin out carrots until only one plant remains at each interval of three inches along the row. Water immediately after thinning. Parsnips should be spaced three to four inches apart and beetroot four inches. To keep down weed growth, cultivation of the soil is essential. This bent fork is a useful implement for the job once the plants are well established. Cultivation assists in releasing plant food and helps the penetration of water. The Dutch hoe is more suitable for light cultivation, particularly while seeds and weeds are small. Stirring the surface prevents weed growth. Of course, pests are sure to turn up, but don't worry, they can be dealt with. The leaf-eating caterpillar is a highly strung and sensitive person. It's quickly offended and always goes on a hunger strike when dusted with arsenate of lead. Aphids, being rather studious and absolutely non-smokers, are put off their food forever by a dust containing nicotine. If the two insects come at the one time, the dusts can be mixed together. And then comes the payoff. Have you ever felt the thrill of harvesting what the good earth yields up as a reward for your toil? Have you known the delicious taste of vegetables that have come straight from your own garden to your kitchen? Have you given your family the opportunity of benefiting from the health-giving properties that have been obtained only from fresh vegetables? like broccoli, rhubarb, tomatoes, silver beet, carrots, cucumber, and vegetable marrow. If you have enjoyed none of these things, you have missed something really worthwhile. It's not too late to start now. Write to the Department of Agriculture, Melbourne, for a copy of that key booklet on vegetable growing. Give golf for the race to miss next weekend. And before you know where you are, you too will be picking health-giving vegetables just like these.